not many people will know, but I was in the fashion industry for quite a long time working as a fashion model. And so the work walking the wall or heels is kind of like trying to bring together my history in the fashion industry and trying to resolve um, how my body was viewed and used. I think it affects all of us as females, the way um, female bodies are portrayed in uh, advertising and in the media. I think it's really um, discombobulating and I wanted to bring that on its head in a really um, absurd way, which is why I try and walk the wall in stiletto high heels while I'm gazing into the camera. Um, it's really absurd act. And so when we look at endurance, particularly in performance, and if we um, mirror that into our own daily lives, like so say, for example, um, the way beauty is defined and how youth is really um, adored. And so as women, as we grow older and, and as we try to hold on to youth, that is an endurance work in itself. You know, like the way that we prepare our faces and we buy these creams and who knows whether they work. And I find that there are um, practices in our daily life that reflect endurance and is particular to the female body and is really, really ridiculous though. In Samoa itself, um, it's really taboo to show these tattoos publicly, except if it's in a ceremonial um, performance or practice. And so um, while I was doing Walking the Wall, to me having the, the the bodysuit, which is so prevalent in female pop culture, you know, with Beyonce and Lady Gaga, and then um, the high heels, the stiletto high heels, that's the ultimate iconic kind of symbol of femininity. And then bring, marrying that with the malu, which is a symbol of femininity itself. And so I just wanted to marry the two worlds together of um, the Western, um, ideals of femininity and symbols of femininity and how the body is completely exposed and for everyone to gaze at and then to juxtapose that with the Samoa malu which is completely taboo for anyone to ever lay their eyes on um, except if it's in certain contexts and so I was really interested in the juxtaposing of those two worlds. Representation of the female body is such a strong theme in my work and it has always been so present. For me it's about straddling these two worlds. Edgy and Seeming, it came out of the idea of looking at the interdependence of the global economy um, and the way that companies migrate just like people do from country to country. And so I was looking at my own family history. My mum travelled from Samoa to Auckland, New Zealand, uh, in search of work. And she had worked all her life as a machinist in um, clothing factories. Edging and seeming is definitely a portrait of both my mother and of the workers. So in my mind, it was a, a love letter to both um, workers in both countries. So I have like um, the Western world that I live within and also within, I have that connection to my Samoan culture and so I see that I'm travelling this line and then I have these two worlds that are kind of, you know, lapping up at my feet. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, it's definitely about um, negotiating these two worlds.